Hello everyone, welcome back to my Z4, which you're gonna be seeing a lot of in today's video. I just wanted to jump on ahead of the video starting and say Merry Christmas to those of you watching that do celebrate it. This will be my last video that goes live before the big day. So uh, I just wanna jump on here and say thank you so much for a fantastic year, although there'll be another video coming um, this year. I just wanna say thank you for a fantastic year. All of the best for Christmas and um, yeah, enjoy this video. You'll be joining me on the motorway yesterday when I filmed this video um, and it's a lot of fun actually. So I hope you enjoy it. Hope you find something useful out of this video. Uh, but I just want to say Merry Christmas to those of you that celebrate it. Thanks for a great year and I will see you on Boxing Day for my next upload. Anyway, enjoy this one. Merry Christmas. So we're actually now just cruising on the motorway, but I thought um, now might be quite a nice opportunity to just get started with the video. Now, heel and towing is uh, one of those things that I actually didn't really know about until after several years of driving, in fact. But now, it's probably the, the thing that I get most excited about when driving a stick shift or um, this Z4. It's one of those things that actually seems quite simple on paper. Um, however, in practice, it is uh, a sort of a technique that it does take a little bit of um, of getting used to um, and you will get better at it over time but really you've just got to understand the basic principles um, to start doing that so heel and toe is quite literally the technique of pressing the brake pedal with your toe and blipping the throttle with your heel under braking to therefore match the revs so this is good because you know, under maybe track conditions. If you get heel and toe right, you're optimizing your braking performance because what you're doing is maximizing that engine um, engine braking potential, essentially. If you're always at the highest revs possible, even when you're under braking, it means you're gonna be stopping as quickly and as efficiently as possible. What's probably more important though, is if you're again under track conditions or extremely hard driving, where you're braking with full force into a corner, Often, if you're just a downshift like this and not heel and toe, you saw there the car sort of jolts. And actually, at high speeds, when you're braking heavily into a corner, that's quite likely to unsettle the car. So again, by just matching the revs, you lose that jolt and it's more stable. Obviously, that's not heel and toe because I wasn't braking at the same time there. <laughs> just listen to this car though, bloody hell. So, essentially that's 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 really where heel and towing starts. It, it, it does, it helps the car in that way, um, but really only helps the car, you're only really gonna notice the difference if you're, you know, really, really on it. So for road use, is it really necessary? No, but this is where I come in, because although I can't um, tell you too much about uh, how it's going to affect the car on track. What I can tell you is that it just improves the driving experience tenfold. Um, I couldn't imagine getting into a manual car now and not heeling and towing or rev matching. Um, it just it increases the engagement you have with the car, uh, makes you feel so much more connected, and it's just really, really satisfying when you get it right. You know, I got it a little bit wrong there, but. I know that 50 miles an hour, well, I want to blip it up to around five grand. There it is, and it's just so satisfying, and all the power's there. <laughs> Ready to be used. So look, it's basically, it's a really satisfying thing that I implore you to learn. So we'll go through a little, a few of the basics now, and hopefully from this video at least, you'll have some sort of basic understanding and a way of learning. Uh, I will say actually now, shoes are quite an important thing. If you've got really big, chunky shoes, they're not gonna be the easiest to heel and toe with. I recommend getting some flat shoes. These are actually not the best for the job, but they are flat, which does, it just makes it easier. So if we focus on the pedal cam for a second, let's just show you what we're sort of gonna be aiming for today. So the finished result should look something a little bit like this. So this is very gentle braking because I'm just on a road now, but I'm on the brakes and I'm also going to downshift into second gear and you saw me there blip the throttle with my right foot at the same time 
and you heard then the revs match and also what it means is that although I'm still braking when I lift off the clutch the revs are in the right place I hope that makes sense and I'm hoping with the cameras um, it's going to make sense for you as well but what we can do to, to get to that a little bit easier is first learn just how to rev match this is I think quite easy and, and most people are going to be able to do it every car is going to be different that you jump into but I do find now even when I jump into a brand new car and by that I mean a car I haven't driven before you can pretty much learn very quickly given the different throttle response and rev bands where those rev bands are going to be so for me you just basically rev matching you should depress the clutch select a new gear and just blip the throttle to build the revs to that right range so here for me I'm in third gear at 40 miles an hour if I want to go into second I know it's going to be around four and a half thousand rpm I just blip the throttle there and we're at the right rev range so you can try this without braking which is extremely useful so let's try it again go back into fourth we just want to go into third and match the revs so all you're doing there is whilst having the clutch depressed you're blipping the throttle and building the revs up to that right level the heel and toe obviously we're then adding in the brake so you're doing it all at the same time So yeah, so what I'd recommend you do first is, is, is first sort of get used to, to rev matching. This is actually a really nice thing to do anyway, because I find it just preserves the life of your, your clutch and your gearbox a bit longer because you're not putting it under strain. See, if I was to go into third gear here and just let off the clutch like normal, you've got a bit of a jolt, even more so if I do that in second. But if I go back up to fourth now and just demonstrate, instead if we're rev matching, we can just match the revs, third gear, no jolt, second gear, no jolt again. And it's just a much more seamless, nicer way to drive. And it does just, it, it feels, it, it's honestly really satisfying when you get it right. So I would really encourage you to have a go. Uh, I won't encourage you to do it on the public road, but of course, this is where most people are gonna have to do it. But do just get yourself comfortable with rev matching before attempting to sort of incorporate the brake element as well. Although I can't really offer specific tips on rev matching because as I say, it will differ with every car. What I will say is that you're probably gonna to need to apply less throttle pressure than you think. If I'm downshifting here into second in my car, for example, that was probably 15% throttle pressure. But of course, I have a sport mode which increases the throttle response. So when I do that, it requires even less throttle input. So it will vary from car to car. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, so, but no, look, I encourage you to just have a go in your car and um, just get used to it. So here we go, we're in sixth gear. I'm gonna brake quite suddenly down to 40 miles an hour. We wanna be in third gear once we get there. So there we go, I've braked consistently held the brake pedal at the same level so we're not getting any un unnecessary jolts um, or uneven driving so I held the brake at an even level we decelerated I held the clutch down pushed the gear shifter into third whilst blipping the throttle and you then blip the throttle as the clutch comes up and it means when you pull the clutch off you're at the right rev range I know I'm repeating myself a lot but that's essentially the important thing here is that you're getting the revs to where they should be for the speed you're doing in your new gear. And then with the brake for the heel and toe, you just wanna make sure that you're not unevenly pressing that brake. You, you select a, a, a pressure and you hold it there. Obviously, if you're braking really heavily in track conditions, for example, you might wanna increase your brake pressure as you do it. I honestly forgot just how loud that means she did not like me at all. In the M240i, I don't really get stared at at all, but I'm not used to it because this I've just jumped into and everyone's looking at you like you're a complete yob, which I am, so can't really knock it. Um, it's a great way actually to piss off cyclists as well, this look. He'll probably turn around and look at me if I downshift into first unnecessarily. 
Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Head shake from him. <laughs> so I mean, there's another benefit of heel and towing. Um, you can piss off cyclists. But don't we all hate them? Oh, we do. No, I am joking, of course. So yeah, going a little bit off topic. I think really, um, I mean, a couple of things I want to say now. Again, I, I said it at the start, I really, I really, before commenting, just remember, however this video might look and however I'm coming across, I genuinely do not believe I know what I'm doing. And I can't recommend that you follow this advice because like I say, I cannot guarantee you that the techniques I'm using here are conventional or correct or safe. For me, they work. Um, it's how I do it. And I thought this would be helpful, you know, from those videos where you guys commented saying, show me um, how you do it. That's exactly what I'm doing. So I just want to say that. And, and secondly, I hope this has been, you know, I hope that I've not missed anything here, fundamental, but fundamentally that is, that is it. That's all there is to it. We're, we're matching the revs and we're braking at the same time. It seems daunting actually when, when journalists or whoever talk about it. But in actual fact, it's a really, really simple little technique that is going to honestly um, improve your driving experience quite a lot. Um, and it's, it's quite, it's an exciting thing if you haven't done it before. And I tell you, the first time you just even get that rev match right, it's a really, it is a really satisfying thing. So I guess we'll end the video here then with I guess a little bit of a demonstration with a pinch of salt. Um, I'll just have a little blast now in the car, have some fun and just let it play and you can see what I'm doing as I'm braking quite hard into corners, quite deliberately and we'll see how that looks. He's uh, chancing his life there. So yeah, let's uh, just have a little bit of a blast now. interesting and like I say I'm really sorry I apologize in advance I'm not an expert so please please go easy on me and also go easy on my pedals because I know they're really dirty and I actually specifically got the car cleaned for this video but then I ended up not being able to film it on that day so the pedals have got dirty in between so I apologize for that 
But please uh, comment below any follow-up questions you've got. I'm also, I'd love to hear your advice. If I am doing anything fundamentally wrong, please, please correct me. I'm not um, uh, smug enough not to listen. I'm, I'm totally open to your, um, your criticism and feedback. So please comment below. And also let me know in the comments, I want to know from you guys, can you heal and tow? And also, how long have you been doing it? But also, if, if actually this is the first time you've, you've thought about it, and let me know how you get on, of course. I'd love to hear your stories. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all very, very soon.